Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I just walked through a property with a um, seller client whose house is not on the market yet. They're going to be listing it in the next couple months. They have some things to do to the property and some things that they want to do before they put it on. And they had me come over and walk through just to kind of be like, should we do this? We're thinking of doing this. We're going to do this. Yes, no, whatever. And, um, you know, that's a really good thing to do as a seller if you are going to list your house or you know you're going to be selling it in the next few months or whatever and there are certain things that you want to do or that you feel you should do or that you're considering doing. Talk to a realtor um, or, you know, do that process ahead of time. And, you know, everybody gets so caught up on price, but you really need to focus on if you know you're going to be selling and you know you're going to be selling and going to be um you know, if it's not up to the price, basically, if you would sell, um, sit down and talk to somebody or figure out who you want to work with so that you can have that person walk through your property and go over those things that you're thinking of doing ahead of time. Because the worst thing that can happen is when you see a seller that's put all this money into doing some updating or just some little items throughout the house that adds up um, before they put their property on the market. But then, you know, the realtor walks through and says, this is all great, but you have got to address this and this. And they're the two items that the seller thought were least important, and they actually end up being the most important. And there's three things that they could have totally not done and saved money on that nobody cares about, except for the sellers, you know, the, the new potential buyer that's not going to make a difference in the pricing or um, the attractability, if that's a word, um, house of the property. So what I'm saying is, before you go and do all these things, um, talk to a realtor first ahead of time and say, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're thinking of doing. What are your thoughts? And that realtor may give you some other insight or some different insight on some things that maybe are going to make a bigger difference price wise, and maybe some things that are going to make a bigger impact as far as the amount of buyers that you attract and the amount of interest that you get in the property. So that's definitely um, a really good idea and thing to do ahead of time before you meet with somebody to list it and to move forward. You know, have that walkthrough and those opinions um, way in advance. So anyways, these are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at Jessica Edwards at Seacoast Realty. Dot com And of course, you can always check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.